Larry Black along with Jeff Smith, and we're ready for a point karate match. This is Ray McCallum on the right of your screen in the red karate uniform and Herb Johnson of Indianapolis, Indiana. And these fans are interested in watching Ray McCallum, who did so well in full contact against Bill Wallace as he goes in a point karate match. He scored one point. What was that for, Jeff? That looked like a back fist. A back fist with striking the, with the back of the knuckles. That was with the front hand to the point. side of Herb's head. Point karate is different than full contact karate because they break them up after each clash and they try to score the points. There's a move that Ray McCallum is famous for. When someone tries to kick him, he drops down and lets you fall over his body with your supporting leg. And the fighters get to the center. The judges call their scores. No points are called. The judges have three choices they can make. They either could not see the score or they saw it and it was a point or they saw it and it was not a point. And so now the judges are calling a point for Herb Johnson. The score is one to one. This is a two round bout. It'll be the maximum number of points. And we have two judges calling for Herb Johnson and two judges calling for Raymond McCallum's kick. So neither person gets a point. One was punching and one was kicking. And so two judges saw one, two saw the other. And again, Herb Johnson punching and Ray McCallum kicking, and nobody gets the point because they both hit. Herb Johnson, a top-rated fighter from Indianapolis, and Raymond McCallum, Black Belt Hall of Fame Fighter of the Year from 1979. It looked like a double kick. He caught him with the second kick to the head. And he got a point for that. That makes the score. Well, he got two points for the kick to the head. Makes the score three to one. This fast action point karate. One point, Ray! He got a point. That's four to one. Ray McCallum in the lead here, four to one. Ray McCallum is the number two lightweight fighter in the country. And he does a judo throw and takedown. They are not allowed to score points on that. Ray was doing that just to show off a little bit, I believe, and Herb Johnson got a kick out of it too. You can see why uh, Ray McCallum is the Black Belt Hall of Fame Fighter of the Year. He is rated number two for the, for the top fighters, but his but his fighting style is super. Let's watch that on slow motion. Just your old usual judo hip throw. He moved himself into position very well. Ray McCallum is probably the second best person for taking someone to the ground I've ever seen, and the first best person was yourself, Jeff. <laughs> Back in point karate, before you were fighting full contact karate, I don't believe anyone stood up for a whole match when they were fighting with you. I can really appreciate Ray's sweeps because I know how difficult they are to execute on opponent. There's a good shot of Herb Johnson. He's ready for round number two. This is the second round. The score at the end of the first round was four to one. Ray McCallum smiling at the cameras and Larry, Larry, the head kicks are worth two points. So McCallum scoring two punches and one head technique. And I believe Herb was trying Ray McCallum's move on Ray McCallum by dropping down, but he doesn't do it quite as well. Ray landed right on top of him. You can see the sportsmanship in the point fighting. Both fighters smiling and Ray does a triple kick followed by a left punch and a right punch. And notice, notice the control when the fighters are inside punching. They're not trying to knock each other's head off. And there's that back fist move again as Ray McCallum covers the distance real fast. Here's that back fist in slow motion. You can see it landing on Herb Johnson's head. And back in the live action, we have another point for a punch when Herb Johnson hit the floor. Ray so McCallum now, was jumping in the air and came down on Herb Johnson after he fell to the mat. That makes the score six to one for Ray McCallum, the number two light contact fighter in the United States. And the number nine full contact middleweight. And we saw him against Bill Wallace here on ESPN. He did a spectacular job of staying in there with the Superfoot, the world champion. Did you see that kick? He threw his hook kick. It was blocked and he, he scored with the back fist. I don't believe he got a point for it. There was no confirmation. Fighters trade punches, and Herb Johnson. I don't think the judges around. are in position to see that one. We have three points for Herb Johnson for that punch. You saw it land right on his nose in slow motion, and he did get a point for it. So it's now six to two, and it remains six to two. Very fast action in point karate. There's that hook kick in Ray McCallum's. And all the judges score two points for it, so that makes eight. Eight to two in favor of Ray McCallum, and Herb Johnson shakes his head. He can't believe the phenomenal speed and ability of Raymond McCallum. Let's, Let's take, take a look at that kick. 
He hooks it around the arm of Herb Johnson and lands right on the side of Herb Johnson's head. And that's the end of the fight. We know who the winner is. The score is eight to two. You don't have to wait for a judge's decision in a point match. It's fast action from beginning to end. This is the kind of karate that they do for students, karate students from five years old all the way up, even in the women's division. Of course, in Texas, these black belts hit a little bit harder than they let the students hit. Of course, I wouldn't want anyone to think that their kids in karate schools are gonna be hitting each other as hard as Ray McCallum and Herb Johnson were, but these guys know how to take care of themselves. There's the effect of that hook kick right on the side of Herb Johnson's head. Ray McCallum knew that he had those two points. Herb Johnson is from uh, Indianapolis. And Ray McCallum, of course, from Dallas. And we'll see more full contact karate coming up right after this.